interview with the very funny imaginary Mary star, Jenna Elfman. Have a great week. Bye. Hey guys, it's Jenna Elfman. So in my career, I've had the opportunity to act in so many cool projects. So we're gonna do a fun little reflection here called Elfman Looks at Herself Men. Dharma and Greg. That was like five excellent years of my life. There was this one episode where Dharma is like doing some equestrian thing, probably through the country club, Greg's country club. And so we had a real horse and I was sitting on it. So then the horse reared up and we went off the horse. This was like a giant horse. We fell to the ground and I'm looking up and the horse has not come down yet. The horse was still up. And me and the horse kind of lock eyes for a second. And he was like, and he backed up on his hind legs and came down. It was wild. We all have our things. Can't Hardly Wait was this classic film that everybody loves and I worked for one day. You were like that, like an angel prostitute, right? I was like, <laughs> no, I was a stripper, but it was Halloween, so I was dressed like an angel. And I always have to clarify that because nobody really knows what I was in Can't Hardly Wait. They just remember my big Scott Bayo speech. <laughs> and my boobies. Look, is she beautiful? She's beautiful, right? Ed TV was amazing because you had Matthew McConaughey, Woody Harrelson, Aaron Ellen DeGeneres, like a Billy Crystal, like a huge host of people. The two things that were most memorable was making out with Matthew McConaughey daily. That was fun. And then Woody Harrelson, you know, Woody eats like raw food. He's like a real health nut, but it kind of like made him have gas a lot. And um, so we would be often, when there was a scene with me, Matthew, and Woody, um, Woody would fart right before our action. And then we'd have to act the whole scene in Woody Harrelson's fart. The only thing I would ask is that he didn't do that if I had to kiss Matthew in that same scene because making out in a fart doesn't really go together. Hello, boys. So Keeping the Faith was an extraordinary experience for me. It was also pretty epic. It was Edward Norton's first directing job. So it was the first time he had ever directed a movie. Our rehearsals in preparation for that film were just spending time walking around New York City. Ben Stiller, Edward, and I. And we just spent time eating at cafes, walking through Greenwich Village, having long talks in the park, and just forming like some chemistry because these are three best friends. There's like a scene in the back of a cab I remember filming with Edward and I actually forgot we were acting. And I'll never forget that moment because that was, that was sort of a sublime and you don't get to hit that very often. Please leave. I'm sorry you had to waste a trip up here, but I don't need an attorney. So I had the honor of being in the fifth and final season of Damages. And um, I remember my first day, it was this scene where I was like super stressed out and I ended up getting like a migraine because between the intimidation of working with Glenn Close and having to play this like heightened emotional scene all day long, I ended up getting a migraine. I just remember at a certain point I sat down and just got like a package of Oreos and just like was eating so many Oreos trying to like feel better about my migraine. I don't know how Oreos makes migraines better, but it just made me happy. You ruined everything. We can fix this. Imaginary Mary is super fun. We have a puppeteer and a puppet, and then we rehearse, and then they go away. And then I have to remember where this character is moving in the scene, and then every time I move, the eye line changes, but filming it, it's like I feel cross-eyed sometimes. We have this Academy Award-winning animator. It's, it's like so talented, but it's really, it's six weeks of animation post-production for one episode. So watch me make new comedic memories on Imaginary Mary every Tuesday night on ABC at 9.30.